very good morning to you all we will now move on to the current topic today floating ball valves as you all are aware ball valve is a quarter turn valve and one of the prominent family of valves the moment you hear the word quarter turn which means it is good for quick closing and for high frequency applications like any valve there is a pressure containing part and it is housing a closure member or an obturator in case of ball valve it is a hollow sphere through which the flow takes place when the valve is in open condition as the name implies floating ball valve the ball that is a closure member or an obturator which is not rigidly held on its rotational axis it is allowed to float between the upstream and downstream seats the upstream pressure always pushes the ball towards the downstream seat and the effective sealing takes place floating ball valves find applications across all industries right from oil and gas refineries petrochemicals pipeline terminals offshore and onshore platforms and most of other process industries like pharmaceutical chemicals specialty chemicals agrochemicals paper and pulp thermal and hydel power plants textile and tire industries and many automobile industries where it involves applications for utilities and also paint booths and also for process steam and many other fluids we will look at the classification of ball valve based on the construction as a three piece construction which means which is having one body and two connectors which are bolted together and three piece construction is very good for inline maintenance you need not have to down the valve from the line of course you have to isolate the line but you need not have to down the valve you can remove three bolts and swing like a fulcrum and do the changes of all internals ball seat body seals and extra single piece construction is the most prominent construction which has minimum leakage path uh, i am seeing some of the participants are raising their hands we will have a question answer session at the end in case you are having any issues with respect to video or my voice you can put a message through question and answer chatter box single piece construction is good for gas applications because it has no leakage path potential leakage path other than the joint between the pipeline flange and the body flange two piece construction is one body which has an integral flange and another connector which are bolted together the another classification which we can classify ball valve into between the size of the bore the reduced bore which means the flow bore inside the valve is lower than the bore size of the pipe as you all know when you talk about the pipe size that is the diameter it is neither external that is od or nor internal id it is a nominal diameter depending upon the thickness of the pipe the schedule the bore size varies so as a manufacturer and standard permits that there is a reduced bore which goes common all across the schedules and different dimensions full bore is the one the flow bore is almost equal to the line size which means which has practically no pressure drop across upstream and downstream seat we can also classify the ball valves based on the end connections the popular one as you all are aware flanged end connection these flanges can be coupled with the pipeline flanges and the small bore valves has a socket weld end connection and the screwed end connection as you all appreciate the floating ball valve size starts from 1/4 of an inch which means a dn8 and 
as big as DN200, that is 8 inch commonly. There are some manufacturers who make in 10 inch also. So the socket welding connection is also available with the extension nipple so that when the contractor or the customers, when they install these valves in the line, they need not disturb the internals because some of the soft components which are available in the internals. Okay, so that need not be disturbed during the welding. So the customers may insist manufacturers to supply with the welded nipples on both sides. The another important classification is based on the construction, that is the material of construction. It could be carbon steel because when you start from class 150, class 300, class 800, the minimum material that is being used is a carbon steel. And stainless steel, of course, you will have 304, 316, and etc. And other special MOCs like high nickel alloys, inconel, monel, etc. We will see the classification based on the type of seats. As you all are aware, uh, there is a soft seated valve, there is a metal seated valve. Valves like gate, globe, check, they are metal seated valves, they are intrinsically metal seated. And when it comes to ball and butterfly valve and plug valve, of course, you have both soft seated option and metal seated option. The advantage of soft seated valves are always, it is able to give you 100% bubble tight sealing, which means zero leak. The popular soft seat which is used in ball valve is PTFE, polytetrafluoroethylene. The commercial name for this is Teflon. The PTFE has a maximum withstanding temperature capacity of 210 degrees Celsius and the pressure, when you talk about at the uh, ambient, it could be 69 bar cold working pressure. See, which means practically the PTFE seated valves with class 800 body construction, you can use for 69 bar service condition. Coming to the another variant of PTFE seat is the reinforced PTFE, which means a glass filled PTFE which can still take higher temperature. It can go up to 230 degrees Celsius. And there is a special filled PTFE, which can go up to 270 Celsius. So these three are basically a commonly used soft seated. And when you want to use it for higher pressure class, like class 900, class 1500, we can go for a material called PEAT. Max seal is a one, which is a special filled PTFE which is a trade name. So that can be specifically used where high temperature applications up to 275 degree Celsius. The another important variant is the metal seated. Metal seated, as you all are aware, the ball and the seat which are used is metally made either a 13% chromium steel or a stainless steel, which is hot faced with stellite or sometimes tungsten carbide coating in order to have higher hardness and better wear resistance. So believe when you say a yeah, class 800 ball valve, this being a soft seated valve, though the class 800 body rating is available, the valves are derated to the temperature and pressure, the seat that is used. One has to keep that in mind while selecting the valve. Yeah. The another classification is based on fire safe and non fire safe. As I said, metal seated valves are intrinsically fire safe, but when it comes to a soft seated valve, there is a necessity that in the event of external fire, the soft component may get extinguished or will get sublimated due to the external heat. In that condition, whether the valve will seal so that there is no flow takes place beyond that point. So there is a fire safe test qualification as per API 607 and ISO 10497, which is performed. The another important the feature based on the design is anti-static arrangement. The soft seat that is PTFE or RPTFE 
when it is constantly rubbing in the metal that is a ball there is a constant electricity which is getting build up the ball is the conductor and the soft is the insulator so this static electricity should be properly released it should be continued it should not be discontinued so it can create spark if the anti static arrangement is not inbuilt as a feature in the ball valve so there is a 35% carbon filled ptfe seal which is used for routing it from ball to stem and similarly from stem to the body or for the higher sizes there is a spring loaded plunger which is inserted in this stem so this is giving the continuity between the ball and the stem and this is giving between the stem and the body and this anti static feature is tested with the help of a device and that will ensure that the resistance is not more than 10 ohm while applying 12 volt dc power source the another one is like many other valves ball valve also has anti blowout stem which means the stem which has a larger diameter even when there is an internal pressure which is surging it will only lift the stem up and it will come and butt on the profile provided on the body it will prevent the stem from blowing out in case of pressure build up or explosion this fire safe design i can just quickly give one more pictorial representation so the normal service you are seeing this is a soft seat which is in blue color now the valve is seated it is in the downstream seal and when there is a pressure the soft seal which may sublimated or which may get extinguished and there is a raised lip which is provided on the body that will come in contact with the ball and that will ensure sealing there is no further flow of fluid in the line thereby it ensures the effective sealing of course the seals and the seat needs to be replaced after this incident the seat geometry is very important for the performance of the valve the seat has one is a slots on the circumference another one on the inside there is a feeder and annular groove there is a cavity which is available in the floating ball valve and there is a thermo piezo effect which means when the fluid is contained inside any confined area if there is a increase in temperature there is a possibility of pressure build up even with 1 degree centigrade increase in temperature it can increase the pressure by about 4 to 5 bar so during this time the seat is innovated in such a way that from the cavity it will release the pressure through the annular and feeder groove to the upstream side and the pressure equalizing groove on the circumference which will equalize the pressure when the valve is in closed condition through the slots surrounding the seat so there will not be any damage to the seat the typical standards which are used is iso 17292 the most popular standard earlier it was bs 5159 and 5351 then from 2004 when it became obsolete iso 17292 has become very popular of course api 6d for pipeline ball valve applications so these two standards are very very popular and the end to end dimensions for socket weld ends are b16.11 and screwed end that is bspt which is iso 7-1 and screwed end npt nominal pipe thread is b1.20.1 the end flange connections as you all are aware b16.5 for raised to flange flat face and also ring type joint in case of high pressure and face to face for flange is asme b16.10 the pressure testing is done with the help of iso 5208 which is almost in line with api 598 and the fire test as a type test as a prototype test which is qualified as per iso 10497 and api 607 floating ball valves very interestingly can be used for steam service you may all wonder this is with a soft state how it can be used for high temperature applications in most of the process industries like air industries paper and pulp sugar industries they all use steam as a processing fluid for their process for example in a tire plant 
this is used to cure the tires in the process so the saturated steam approximately about 250 degrees celsius with about 15 to 20 bar which is being used as a common saturated pressure and temperature steam so this special filled ptfe it is not the virgin ptfe the special filled ptfe which has a high temperature capability up to 275 degrees celsius that will be used as a seat for this application and the valves are also certified by ibr as you all are aware for valves which are used for steam must have the ibr certification for application valves for cryo service as you all are aware there is a positive temperature and there is a sub zero temperature and negative temperature especially applications like liquefied natural gas liquid oxygen uh, ammonia uh, liquid ammonia and some of the cases ethane ethylene where there is a need for valves to operate at sub zero temperatures so there is a standard bs6364 and there is now latest iso standards also available for cryogenic testing and design of valves and the valves are taken to minus 196 degrees celsius through liquid nitrogen as a coolant and helium is used as a test medium and tested for leakage and the valves will have an extension stem because necessarily when the temperature goes below minus 50 degrees celsius there is a need for protecting the stem packing and other soft components because that may become brittle valves for oxygen service some of the critical applications come across for valves is for oxygen service the valves necessarily need to be tested first assembled in a clean room where the dust particles is not more than 5 micron of the quantity is about less than 3000 is the minimum requirement the iso 7 class or you can call it as 10000 class and the selection of non metals as per astm guide and bam certified graphite packing gaskets and lubricants especially this of our graphite packing we need to have bam certified which specifies the requirements for such gaskets to be used in oxygen service liquid oxygen service and cleaning as per ASTM G93 and the valve should be packed you can do gas test and you can clear it and there should be packed with a polyethylene bag and seal and it should be mentioned specifically as valves for oxygen services the valves need to be qualified with the validation and qualification as you all know hydrostatic shell test which is done with the demineralized water with chloride content less than 50 pm 50 ppm and hydrostatic test seat test and pneumatic seat test which means with a compressed air uh, hydro test is basically to ensure that there is no leakage in the service in case of liquid and the compressed air the low pressure pneumatic seat test is best for gas application but still if the valves are going to be used for gas applications even the customers can ask for gas testing to be performed as a additional test and the valves to qualify there is a prototype qualification there is a cycle test normal is about 15000 cycles is done uh, and there are manufacturers who go as high as about 50000 cycles so that it can be used for high frequency applications without changing the internals and spares as i explained earlier fire safe test as per api 607 and iso 10497 and fugitive emission test which is the norms now the recent requirement for all the valves whether it is a multi turn valves like a gate globe valve similarly soft seated valves like butterfly valve or a ball valve there is a requirement for fugitive emission norms as per the it should be less than 100 ppm the emission through that should be less than 100 ppm here also there is a helium leakage test which is done as a prototype test and even for production test that is possible and the valves are also seal certified because most of the valves are to be used these days with actuators so the safety integrity level which is very important what is the potential reasons or the uh, the estimate for failure the failure rate should be analyzed and that should be well within the limit and the certification is issued as seal say again 
repeating that your api 607 fire testing arrangement the valve need to be tested as a type test and for about half an hour fire and about 10 minutes cooling fugitive emission test is under progress as a type test and uh, the tightness class ah bh bh is you know less than 100 ppm as the uh, emission and ah is less than 50 ppm is the emission levels the testing is mandatory like hydrostat hydro shell and seed test it is done on a gang stand and all the valves are tested for 150 percent of the rated pressure for shell test and 110 percent for C test and seven bar is a low pressure pneumatic test these are the mandatory tests which is performed along with every valves and in case for any gas applications, there is additional testing of low pressure gas test or a high pressure gas test that is also done. And the cycle test tank here you can see to check the number of cycles that it can operate without the internals getting damaged. So it is actuated so that the frequency can be checked and the cycle test is performed for all the valves when it is qualified before it goes for production. Metal seated floating ball valve, I would like to give you some glimpse about that. The ball and seat are hardened or overlay of hot surface material. The overlaying material is generally stellite 6 or even some cases it can be tungsten carbide coated. The ball and seat when it is hardened to the levels of about 30 to 40, 35 to 40 HRC that is a Rockwell hardness scale C. This will ensure when there is any foreign particles or the service is impure or little high temperature, uh, but soft seats are available for even high temperature. So mainly the application which has impurities, foreign particles, not relatively in clean service. Because the soft seated valves are very good when the service is clean. But when the service is not clean, there is a potential chances that it can damage the seats. So there is a flexible graphite made seat seals are also provided to arrest the leakage between the seat and the body. So there is an additional sealing, so which is required. So what happens is when you want to achieve a good amount of good amount of effective sealing, so there is to be a o-ring design that is also used. Otherwise, there is a flexible graphite made seat seals are placed between the metal seat and the body. The leakage rate generally achieved is rate D in ISO 5208 because the standard itself permits certain amount of leakage because it is impossible to achieve a zero leakage even if it is done at the manufacturing or the shop floor level but it is very challenging to maintain the same level of leakage rates in service. And the sizes are commonly half inch to two inch. And of course, the higher sizes are also available in both floating ball valve and also in tronian mounted ball valve. The typical applications are some of the slurry lines, some of the source service, or some of the severe service. You can call the line fluid has certain kind of contamination and impurities. As these valves are quarter turn valves, it can be directly mounted with the pneumatic actuator and electrical actuators with the, through the gear unit. And invariably, the, the need for actuated valves are on the increase because the process industries are going in for more and more automation, both rack and pinion actuators for small bore ball valves and scotch yoke type of actuators for higher sizes and high pressure class of ball valves. And ball valves are also available even in 1500 class and even 2500 class valves are also available. It is possible to be designed and made available. And the seats which are used, as I explained to you, high pressure, there is a seat called peak, which is used as a sealing material between the ball and the seat. The special MOC, the middle of construction for ball valves, of duplex stainless steel, inconel, even for oxygen service, monel valves are designed. And 
material of construction is not a limitation with respect to ball valves so we are coming to the end of the session i would like to give a piece of information about the portfolio that lrt valves has it's one of the comprehensive portfolio it has a prominent family of gate globe check valves ball valves which we talked today then butterfly valves including soft seated and metal seated plug valves sleeve plug valves double block and bleed plug valves a range of control valves and special valves like marine valves choke valves and hip system high integrity pressure protection system and some of the digital solutions very interesting now when you want to make as a smart valve today we are talking of smart watch we are talking of a smart phone similarly the valve also is made smartly so that can give the potential failures well in advance for the plan to plan any shutdown or any changes or maintenance to be done on the valves